Hi, Carrie here. Have you ever been in a position where you're not comfortable with the company that you're keeping? It happened to me, I guess I was just after I graduated from college, I had to go to basic training at Fort Dix, New Jersey. And I found myself amongst a bunch of people I didn't really understand. Um, up until that time in my life, I never cursed. I never drank. Uh, I was an athlete. I, I led a very straight life. And then I got in the military, and um, I just didn't function properly. Uh, I found that I became a whole different person, and it was a person that I didn't really like. And after, in fact, after the base, six months of basic training, I went home to my wife, Nita, and she said, I don't know who you are. I find myself in that similar circumstance now. Um, and it has to do with a, a conversation that I had this weekend with a lawyer who said, you're on YouTube and you're giving financial advice. Uh, is that legal? Uh, I said, well, we all say that, you know, we're not financial advisors and don't, and I will not give personal financial advice. And um, again, I'm coming to a thought that I'm not comfortable with the company I'm keeping. So I'm feeling a need to separate myself from the company I'm keeping. And that's what I want to do in this video. And I want to explain why because I think it's not healthy, and um, what I'm, I want to explain what I'm going to do about it and how I'm going to structure best of us investors this go, going, going forward. Um, otherwise, I'm not going to be comfortable doing this. So stay with me, and I'll get into it in more depth. Best of Us Investors presents Kerry Griegmeier. Back in 1997, I decided I wanted to become a financial advisor. And to become a financial advisor, it requires a lot of work. You've got to get a Series 7 license. You've got to get um, variable annuities and variable products license. It takes somewhere in the neighborhood of three to nine months. When I got done with that and I decided the direction I wanted to go, I said I want to be the best financial advisor in the community. So the first thing I did was I went and got my CFP. A CFP stands for Certified Financial Advisor. It's, it's about, I think if I remember right, it took me about uh, two years to get this done. You have to take a bunch of, 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 of tests and uh, prove that you understand the six avenues of financial ad, uh, advice. After I got the CFP, I decided I wanted to learn more about life insurance and how it worked into financial planning. So I took another uh, extensive course. This probably took another three months, and this is a chartered life underwriter. So I had that those initials behind my name and, and, and that knowledge. And then the final one was the, uh, the uh, chartered financial consultant. And that was another um, three to six months of education. So what I knew was that in order to advise my clients properly, I had to be educated. I had a degree in finance from Ball State University, but I really wasn't educated in what I wanted to do. As a result of all this, I became Within the Ameriprise system, I was always ranked number one, two, or three out of 10,000 advisors. And then I sold it in uh, 2005. And now, on my YouTube channel, I see who else, in my analytics, it shows me who else you visit and who else you take advice from or you get entertained by because many of them say i'm not a financial advisor i'm here only for entertainment i'm not here for entertainment i'm not a financial advisor anymore i gave up my license but i'm here for education and 
I have years of experience. I have years of knowledge. I have the training. And what I'm seeing, I don't like. I, what, what's happened in the past four weeks with the GameStop um, and then the uh, AMC theaters situation, this is going to be investigated as it is already being investigated by the um, by the by Congress, and this is going to get shut down. I I just know it because it's dangerous, and because we have a bunch of people who don't have any training and don't have any education advising you how to spend your money, how to invest your money, and I see I see all this money going towards these SPACs and these penny stocks and these people who are supposedly entertaining you, suggesting that you put your money in there. And then I get emails from some of you and you and, and you tell me, oh, yeah, I lost $150,000 on that GameStop thing. Holy crap. Whose advice are you taking? What do you have any clue of what you're buying. That's kind of, that's very similar to going into Las Vegas and putting $150,000 into a slot machine. Look around you. It's a palace. It takes money to keep that palace running. They have to take your money to continue. And yet you get involved in these things. We, we have, as a result, of the pandemic and as a result of you all sitting at home um, and as a result of you receiving checks from the federal government, we've had, what is it now, $9 trillion come into the economy and you're throwing it at these carnival barkers who are telling you to buy Workhorse or Nicola or I don't know, a, a new <clears throat> electric vehicle company in Southern California. You don't know anything about them. You haven't done any research. I don't want to be in that group anymore. I want to separate myself. And here today, I want to tell you, if that's what you're looking for, if you're looking for me to tell you what to buy, and you put no effort and no work into it. Go away. That's I'm, I'm not I'm not here for that. I'm here to educate you, and I'm here to encourage you to get educated. I constantly am showing you books that I read to educate myself. But that is not your ticket to do nothing and just follow the herd. It is your ticket to educate yourself. I want you to go beyond just the stock market. I did a video, didn't get much action on it, on, on investing in real estate. This is a profession. It might be a side gig for you, but you need to approach it as a profession, much as I did my profession as a financial advisor. I educated myself, and I have continued to educate myself, and I deplore you to do the same. I see, I see on my analytics who else you go to. People who were high school teachers, uh, people who have no credentials whatsoever and just give you screaming faces, do this today. Would you, would you, the second most important thing in your life to your physical health is your financial health. Would you go to a doctor who stood on the stream, street corner and said, do this today? Or a doctor who said, I used to teach high school medicine, but now I'm teaching you how to save your life, how to run your physical well-being. Would you do that? Then why are you? I need to separate myself from these people. Do not consider me one of them. 
I am not, and I will not, and I don't want to be judged next to them. I know some of you think I'm an old man that ought to just go and sit down and eat Twinkies and drink Coke and watch TV. Well, I'm not going to do it because I have knowledge that I've acquired and I continue to acquire and I have had some good fortune and I want to share it. If you know anything about my history, if you've taken time to read my books, you know why I do this and why it's important to me and why it's important to me that you take me out of the group that you now currently have me associated with. I don't want to see that. If you want them, please go be there because they're not going to be there when, when the toilet flushes and they advised you to buy a bunch of SPACs and a bunch of crazy stocks. Go and look at my portfolio. You're going to find that the bulk of my portfolio is in the best companies in this world. Now, yes, yeah, some of them are new. Uh, Illumina is new, but it is the best at what it does. There are companies in, in the robotics, in the 3D field, but they are the best at what they do. And they are making money and they have a plan to move forward to make money. Please, I'm not comfortable. Much as I was not comfortable in the military, I'm not comfortable in the crowd you currently have me a part of. So take me out of it. Okay? If that's what you want, I'm not your guy. Now, if I am your guy and you want to actually learn how to invest and how to invest into the future and the companies that are going to change the world you live in, because the world just changed one year ago when the pandemic hit us, the world has changed. It will never be the same. You will be getting shots the rest of your life. You will be wearing a mask the rest of your life. And you will be using your phone and technology and 5G and biotech to make sure you are healthy and the people you're standing next to are healthy. That's the world you're entering, effective today. And if you want to be a part of it, if you want to grow with it and you want to participate in it, much as the people who recognize the change that the internet has brought to us, if you want to be on the ground floor of that, then I can help you. But if you want to make, if you want to get into GameStop and make $150,000 this week, go away. I'm not going to tell you that because that's gambling and I don't gamble. I work too damn hard for my money to risk it foolishly. And if you want to go that route, go somewhere else. Okay? I'm sorry if I've offended you, but I needed to get that off my chest. I do not want to be associated with those people because they're going to go down. The government's going to shut them down because they're, they're reckless and, and they're, they're acting foolishly with your money. I don't know if I'll survive it. I don't know that someone said to me, uh, could your business go away? Yeah, it could because of the reckless behavior of those people you have associated with me. And I am offended and I am threatened by them. You should be too. Okay, I'm Kerry Grinkmeyer. I'm a retired financial advisor. I'm actually educated in the field that I choose to profess. And I'm not a 26-year-old who crawled up out of the dust and makes a good presentation for entertainment purposes. Workhorse, you got to be kidding me. Okay, talk to you tomorrow.